The most interesting thing for me in criminal law is the advocacy work and the actual human consequences of all the work that we do. So it's not just about money and corporations, it's about the proper human impact that criminal law has on people in their day-to-day -day lives, on victims of crime, on the community, on the accused themselves. And that advocacy, being able to be the person that stands up and says, I object, is for me the thing that's the most interesting about criminal law. The best parts of my job probably involve the advocacy, like I said, and being able to deal with those really complex concepts and trying to distill them down to something that's really interesting and persuasive and to convince an audience, which is normally um, a magistrate or a judge, what the law means in this particular context and what the facts mean when you apply them to the law and what the, the outcome is. So those sorts of interesting legal problems are the things that, that I find the best thing in criminal law. Probably the worst thing in criminal law, to be brutally honest, is there's a, a lack of time and resources that criminal lawyers have to grapple with depending on what area of criminal law you specialise in and what work you're doing that particular day, it can be hard to deal with the human consequences. Those sorts of human interactions can be really hard and they're sort of the trade-off that you get when you deal with criminal law generally. The reality is that you spend a lot of time on a lot more matters, so there are plenty of matters and lots of different complex issues, but you don't get a lot of time to spend on each individual matter don't have a lot of resources behind you to help you with things like dictation and photocopying and just the general volume of work and the the one-on-one -on -one interaction that people get even at very junior levels they have to have a very close interaction either with their clients if their client is an accused person or with victims of crime if they're prosecuting if they're at the um, police prosecutors or if they're at the DPP. If you want to work in criminal law the first thing you should do is try and get some work experience. Community legal centres, the volunteer organisations that are out there, they will allow you to do some, spend some time working um, and doing some actual criminal law work. But the fact of it is that you need to have that experience to get into criminal law in the first place. It's also really worthwhile doing things like um, mooting competitions, trial advocacy competitions, those sorts of um, hardcore legal skills. Um, it's worthwhile doing those things while you're at university, not only because they look good on a CV, but also because they're the sorts of skills you actually use as a criminal lawyer day to day. So something about being a criminal lawyer that most people wouldn't know is that you spend far more time with your head in a brief than people think. The amount of time that people spend reading and highlighting and tabbing can sometimes feel a little bit like you're back at university doing highlighting and tabbing. So that's something that a lot of people don't realise about being a criminal lawyer, the amount of time that you actually spend reading and preparing.